For the longest time, I have been rather harsh with people, with how they are limited in their, well, ways that they're limited in. And then I've had to come to the conclusion and realize that I myself was unfortunately limited in my own way. And I'm wondering if other INTPs feel this kind of limitation. So, for instance, I feel that I am limited to how I'm supposed to respond and feel toward any action or interaction or anything like that where something happens and my initial thought is, what would other people feel in this circumstance? And I am limited into a degree of how to respond based on how other people respond rather than recognizing I guess the proper way to respond or what you value or whatnot. Not that, you know, my values don't take control of how I would I behave, but I would have to consider like how, how would other people, what would they do or more like feel? How would they feel? How would they react to something like this, whatever it might be? Because for the most part, like I don't, feel anything. It's just something kind of, it comes toward me and I am very numb to it. But if I don't choose a path of how to react to it, it ends up being kind of tossed aside in the back of your mind and you have enough of those as you're going through life and <laughs> you start to, um, well, have these <laughs> nights so you can't sleep because you're so angry for some reason and then other you're just easily agitated or whatnot and you're forced to have to have a reaction or some kind of feeling but since you don't or since I wouldn't know how to feel to begin with um, I am not able to process certain events properly um, if I don't in a way choose how to process certain events with um, with how I should feel about something and depending on other people to get a reference point of how to react or behave or feel. And so, like, there's a loss of identity almost in a way and I subject myself to, you know, the, to getting a, a cup too full and it full, flops over <laughs> as time goes on because I didn't, I was... I decided to be numb about it and not process it properly. So I was wondering if other INTPs have kind of had that same thing where it's like something happens to them and they depend on other people, other people's reactions to figure out how should they react or how should they feel rather than allowing themselves to explore how to respond. Because think, for the most part, I'm very non-reactive. Well, I guess I'm very reactive, but I'm not. I'm I'm not going to do something. I need to change that. But I'm I'm very. I, ugh, I'm not very well. I'm not able to take an active, deci decisive, like action that might come across as brash or not thought through. Um, and that can kind of rob me, I guess, of of just the human aspect of myself and recognizing that I am human and I have needs and that I have emotions and they need to be processed and when things happen um, it's okay to have a certain reaction that reflects your values or at least allows you to or like have not an emotional outburst but like <laughs> to allow me to process the event properly rather than kind of just being completely numb to it, moving on, and then it becomes a problem later. Yeah, I don't know. So I was curious what y'all thought, you INTPs and other people that are not INTPs, and then other people that are just humans. Yeah, good, good humans. Humans good. How have y'all been? I've been all right. I've, I'm enjoying my new job, writing my new book. Well, rewriting, I guess, an old book started from scratch. I had to restart the whole thing because it was, it was an abomination. I finished it though beforehand and then got some good critiques and I was like, mm, this is really bad. 
So um, restarting. So we're hoping to see where that you know goes in the positive direction. 2020. It's coming right around the corner. Literally tomorrow. Tonight. Wow. Um, yeah. What are you guys' thoughts for 2020? What are you guys wanting to have happen? Or is it just another day? I'm hoping to push some things forward. I'm moving out again, hopefully, soon. Um, it's going to be in Colorado. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We don't really know yet. Um, and then, yeah, book stuff, trying to push that forward because I'm restarting it for, like, fifth time. And so hopefully this one is <laughs> the one. And so the edits that are required are only just simple grammatical er errors, not like, oh, you need to completely re reframe your paradigm. Um, what else? Oh, wanting to push through my my um, my company, potentially get that up and running more again, rather than, you know, just doing this mortgage stuff. Uh, yeah, so I made some business cards, freshened up my website a little bit with a couple things, and yeah. Anyway, so yeah, let me know what you guys are up to, what you guys are wanting for the next year, and how you guys are doing. Um, yeah, I appreciate your guys' input and your guys' thoughts and your guys' nisses nisses. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in another video, another life. You never know. Oh, my computer, not this one, but my one I write music on, its hard drive crashed. And so all of my music projects are gone. Fortunately, like my finished work, most of them are published somewhere so I can find them rather than being completely heartbroken. But, um, yeah, that's another thing. I want to write some more music. I'm going to be collaborating with someone, actually, and get a another album going. Um, that's going to be kind of fun. It's going to be orchestral. So I have to reach out to them and see what kind of like what we're thinking. Um, I'm in one of the one of his previous albums, which is kind of cool, um, Autumn Tears or something like that. Um, anyway, I'm rambling on. Obviously, not so much on my mind. But thank you for listening, and please comment. I always read every comment, so just to let you know on that. All right.